Hey everybody, this is Megan from Junior Horror Movies. Sorry for that. Uh, I had to fix my cat. <laughs> if I kept going, she would have been calling on my leg and everything. So, figured, stop there, fix her, get what she needs to get. Now she's asleep on the couch. So, yeah. So, without well, further ado, let's get on with part two. So, I do have a couple non-horror. But these were gifts from me for my, my birthday from my friends Derek and Sam. Uh, one, of course, is Constantine. The complete series so it's got a little bit of maybe a horror because it's constantine but i've always wanted to check out the live action uh tv show and of course he also hooked me up with thundar the barbarian i grew up to this shit i loved thundar so i just want to show those two off pretty quick for you oh watch out willow said it again all right so an upgrade from vinegar syndrome the massage parlor murders this was actually an interesting film and i always liked this cover very sleazy uh, kind of slasher-esque type movie so yeah i got a 4k blu-ray which i was surprised this is one of their first i don't know if it was their first releases or close to it but so they did this insane treatment to this movie it's crazy massage parlor murders Okay, next up we have an uh, independent film called Night of the Zonghuls. Those are the Zonghuls. <laughs> Night of the Zonghuls is about a serial killer who was en route to, um, to get executed, escapes police custody, and ends up getting shot. He ends up in a like laser tag pizza joint, and he before he dies... His spirit now possesses the animatronics and another co-worker. She was kind of down on her luck and everything. Watch where I step. And uh, he possesses them all. And of course, they go killing people. So it was a cool little low-budget uh, film. So Night of the Zom Ghouls. <laughs> Killer animatronics. Uh, next up I found at the dollar store. You know, the buck 25 store. <clears throat> So it was a thriller. I said, why not? I'll give it a shot. Called Nuclear. Uh, if anybody's seen this movie, let me know. I don't know if it's based on true events. It is a thriller. I watched the trailer. It looked pretty cool. Possible serial, serial, serial killer movie. They all live in an abandoned nuclear power plant. <laughs> yeah. So, Nuclear. Uh, one film I have not owned that I'm surprised. But I was always going for a high amount of prices, so I found a copy at FYE for a really good price, for brand new, and that's The Orphanage. Yeah, never owned it, so now I do. Another Del Toro movie that I do like. Uh, next up we have is The Passenger. Cool slipcover. And uh, this one looks interesting about, you know, they're traveling along they find a girl on the side of the road and uh she does not look well I don't think they'll decide to pick her up or not and they do and things start happening like she's all mutated and whatnot i forgot i have to watch it still but the trailer looked pretty cool and when i saw the cover i'm like that looks sick when i saw this cover i'm like ooh, it came with a slip cover so the passenger this one took a while for it to come I don't know, it was on hold for a while, then it was not in stock, then it was in stock. It is what it is. Uh, next up is Project uh, Wolf Hunting. This is an Asian film. This was super cool. Uh, it's very gory. Think of it as um, if Universal Soldier was a horror film, pretty much. This one is about a bunch of prisoners who are going from the Philippines to I think China or Japan, one of the two. And of course, they get loose. We start killing all the guards and everything. While there's also a zombie esque super trooper individual who is locked up in the, the basement of the boat. And of course, he gets out and he kills everybody. He kills the prisoners, he kills the cops, he kills anything that's alive, pretty much. He's like built like when he walks on the, the steel it's all sounding sounding insanely 
Thunder-esque, and he's just ripping people's heads off and hearts out. Yeah, this was super good, guys. Definitely check it out. It's all practical effects, too. Uh, next up we have is uh, the Retaliators. This looked interesting. About a priest or a, a religious guy whose wife gets killed. <clears throat> and uh, the cop who busts them says, I have the guy who killed your wife. I'll give you a couple minutes in there to do whatever you want, and but you can't kill him though. And uh, so of course he gets out too and escapes. So the bunch of <laughs> retaliation, I guess, is involved. <laughs> so this looks pretty good. I have to give him a watch. Uh, next up from the sleeve box. Uh, this is numbered. This is a uh, Satan lives. The rise of the Illuminati hotties. <laughs> it came. It came uh, signed, and it's also number two. I got number 80, 86 out of one hundred and fifty. That's the other deal, and eh, they're covered up. So you know, sleaze box, how they are gory and sleazy. Well, I like the slip cover. How it looks like an old VHS tape. <laughs> so I thought that's cool. So yeah. Everybody seen this one? Let me know, guys. Next up is uh, from Indiegogo. We have the Sawyer Massacre. This is the pretty much a fan-made film prequel of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, pretty cool, guys. Definitely check this out if you can find it. I know I think it's online to watch, but I was involved in the crowdfunding on this one, and pretty cool, guys. It's again fan-made film. Uh, next up from Change Belsamo is Slice, a, <laughs> how do you want to call it? It's a it's kind of a slasher, but it's also like a golfer's demon going around picking people off on the golf course who wants to raise hell, literally. Yeah, James Belsamo. I'll just leave it right there. Next up is Upgrade. We got the 4K plus Blu-ray of Slumber Party Massacre and Slumber Party Massacre 2. I never got a chance to get part 2 and 3 on Blu-ray. It went out of print. So this was the only way. So it came with just 1 and 2, which is fine. So here's your 4K of 1 and 2. And of course, part 1 and 2 are on their separate discs, which are the, pretty much the same Blu-rays as the single releases. But yeah, so of course you got 1 and 2, which are... One's the best. Two is, it's funny. You can't take it serious. So, I wish they did part three in there, but again, three was not the greatest. So, it's kind of like, eh. Maybe I'll just keep my DVD, which has part three in it. We will see. Uh, next up, I got through eBay. So, I've never seen this movie. And that is The Snowman. And it came with the slipcover. I remember when it came out, I wanted to see it. And never got a chance to see it. Uh, for some reason, I never got a chance to buy the Blu-ray, and it just disappeared. I couldn't find it anywhere. Like, even the used shops. Usually, these films are out and about all over the place. Couldn't find it, so I found a cheap copy on eBay and picked up The Snowman. Uh, if you've seen it, guys, let me know your thoughts on this one. Okay, another Stinky Tuna one is Troll. <laughs> it's like Holland's kaiju movie. <laughs> This was actually a lot of fun. Definitely check this out on Netflix, guys. Pretty much there um, earthquakes and shit happens. And, of course, this troll comes out of the mountain. Well, oh, actually, they're, they're building a, uh, a tunnel. That's right. They're burrowing through this mountainside to make this tunnel like a special railway or something. And, of course, something is awoken. And, of course, it's a giant troll. And, of course, it starts doing damage and rampaging through Holland. Pretty cool flick. I like the part with the helicopters and the giant bells. That was kind of neat. Kind of King Kong-esque. So, other than that, I definitely recommend this. So, if you see this on Netflix, give it a watch. It's fun. Alright, another one through Stinky Tuna, I figured. I'll pick it up. I haven't watched this in years. When I first saw it, I was kind of disappointed. But, I'll give it another go. And that is Velvet Buzzsaw. This is a another old Netflix movie that was pretty much about killer artwork. Uh, pretty much uh, 
this old guy living up in this uh, apartment complex dies. The girl who works at a um, art gallery pretty much steals the artwork because it was so good but so twisted. And whoever steals or does something with the artwork, the artwork pretty much comes to life. There was a couple cool scenes with some paintings and some of the other weird designs were kind of interesting. Uh, the reason why it's called Velvet Buzzsaw <clears throat> is because the main lady who owns the art gallery was a part of a rock and roll band called Velvet Buzzsaw, and she has a tattoo of it on her shoulder. And there's a reason for that later on in the movie, but it's just a weird title. I do like the name of the title, though. So, Velvet Buzzsaw. <laughs> uh, next up is another birthday present. I think my friend Sam hooked me up. And this one is... When Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth from Warner Archive. So yes, yeah, more good old school, old-fashioned dino horror. Uh, next up we have, this was like only five bucks on Amazon, so I figured why not, I'll give it a shot. Uh, the World Ends at Camp Z. This is an interesting take on an influenza uh, disease going around. It starts turning people into pretty much zombies. They start bleeding from their eyes, ears, um, all over the place. Uh, they die and they come back to life and running around. It takes place in like this cool campsite. I think it's in Canada. And because they talk um, some French in there as well. And pretty much this kid who runs the campsite, the guy is selling it to this rich people. And these rich people show up to, you know, party and they want to do something else to the site. And... <laughs> Some of the acting was kind of eh, but again, for five bucks, I figured why not, and it actually was worth okay to keep in the collection. So, the world ends at Cam Z. Check out the trailer, and uh, there's a couple things that kind of left you, huh? But other than that, for a turn your brain off film, I didn't mind it. And last, for the Blu-rays, uh, this could be more of a fantasy or martial arts, so I figured, eh, still... Screen Factory put it out called uh, Zoo Warriors from the Magic Mountain. Uh, the synapse sounded interesting about, you know, devils and demons and everything. They have, these people have to go on to this mountaintop where these devils and demons are. If anybody see this one, let me know. It might not even be a horror film. It could have some fantasy horror to it. We'll see. But if I've seen this one, let me know. I know it had a DVD, and the DVD was out of print. So they, re they put this out on blue. So let me know, guys, if you've seen uh, Zoo Warriors from the Mountain. So it'll be kind of look pretty neat. I'll probably watch that soon. All right, guys, that is it for my haul. Again, sorry I had to do this in part two, but, you know, my cat was acting up, and she's over there acting up again. Meh. It is what it is when you're an animal. <laughs> Love her. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed part two and i hope you enjoyed the whole entire haul let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this and uh yeah stay safe stay warm too especially if you're in this area it's getting cold and that snow's coming <laughs> yuck all right guys thanks very much for watching and stay safe and keep collecting your horror films peace